NBC News has confirmed that longtime Trump Organization CFO Alan Weisselberg has been given immunity by federal prosecutors. Weisselberg was also treasurer of the Donald J. Trump Foundation. The New York State Tax Department is investigating that charity. Joining me now is Martin Scheele. He's a former IRS criminal investigator. Um, and Martin, I guess we just have to ask you, what can Weisselberg offer when it comes, comes to Trump's foundation or his company? What, what, are, what are investigators trying to find out? Uh, thank you, uh, Ali. Uh, let me first uh, uh, extend my respects on behalf of all federal law enforcement to uh, Mr. McCain. Uh, he's always been a supporter of federal law enforcement right. as opposed to other politicians. So in uh, regard to your question, Mr. Weisselberg was the CFO of the Trump Organization uh, as well as the treasurer of the Trump Foundation. He's right at the heart of uh, following the money. Uh, if we talk in terms of uh, payments, reimbursements, uh, uh, invoices, fictitious invoices, and following the, the posting of those expenses to the books and records of the Trump Organization. We then want to track and see if those expenses uh, moved onto the actual tax return. So if you have a situation like uh, with Mr. Cohen, where he was directed to provide fictitious invoices uh, with regard to legal fees, uh, and those fees were then posted uh, to the legal fee uh, account, um, the question I have, well, you have a Mr. Weisselberg or someone else uh, cooking the books of the Trump Organization. Uh, this can have tax ramifications. It could have uh, uh, corporate uh, campaign contributions, which are not allowable uh, ramifications. Um, it could end up uh, allowing for opening up a criminal investigation of the Trump organization with regard to their corporate uh, tax return mm -hmm. filing as well as state uh, tax return filing. Also, you have the Trump Foundation which is a nonprofit organization uh, that has a board of directors that is supposed to uh, closely uh, scrutinize any disbursements of foundation assets. And they're supposed to push back if uh, someone says, well, uh, like Mr. Trump says, well, uh, I'm going to uh, direct the foundation disbursements to my political campaign, right. or I'm going to take assets out of the foundation and place them uh, in my country club, say, uh, well, the board of directors is supposed to push back. They're not supposed to allow that to happen. So they have a fiduciary responsibility uh, to uh, monitor the disbursement so that of the foundation, so that they only go to the mission of the foundation, which you know hopefully is uh, for uh, things like soldiers getting scholarships and yeah. things like that. And there's some so, suspicion uh, that's not happening. So, you know, now, Mr. Weisselberg, let me point out a couple other things with Mr. Weisselberg. He goes back so long, for so many years, he knows where all the money goes yep. and when the money comes in. The uh, Trump Organization sold um, many, many, you know, hundreds of luxury condominiums for millions and millions of dollars, and, and many of them to Russian oligarch-connected folks. Right. He, this is the guy who's going to be able to tell us about that. Yep. A lot of these uh, purchases were in cash. There was no mortgage, no loan. So, I, I, you know, to your viewers who are wondering, well, where's the Russian connection? Well, there's one possibility it, right there. It might be here. Hey, MSNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there and click on any of the videos here to watch the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more MSNBC for free every day with our newsletters. Just visit msnbc.com newsletters to sign up now.